Okay, let's go over the review sheet. So for this first one, um, I'm going to rewrite it before we differentiate it because there's a lot of things that don't have exponents. So we write this one. This is going to be 4 thirds x to the negative 2 power. And so remember, this is just like a verb. It just says differentiate all of this. So you're just going to write equals negative 3 x squared plus 1 fifth x to the negative 4 fifths. Uh, minus, no, plus 8 thirds x to the negative 3, and then the derivative of a constant is 0, so that goes away. Um, so then just rewrite it so that there are no negative exponents, um, and that things are back in radical form. So this as a radical is going to be the fifth root of x to the fourth, and this is just going to be over 3 x cubed. Okay, so for this one you can either use the product rule or you can simplify first. Uh, I don't have a preference. I think that it's easier if you simplify first. So for example, um, if you distribute the square root of x you get 3x root x minus 2 root x and you can actually, if you look at this as exponents, you can simplify that term to 3x to the 3 halves because 1 plus a half is 1 and a half and 1 and a half as a fraction is 3 halves. Okay. And then now when we find the derivative, we can just use the power rule. So 3 halves times 3 is 9 over 2 times x, and then you're going to subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's just going to be 1 half. And then here we're going to have minus like 1x and then to the negative 1 half. So if we rewrite this, this will be, uh, let's say, 9 root x over 2, and then this will be minus 1 over the square root of x. For number three, you need the quotient rule. So we're going to do low d high minus high d low all over low low. Okay, low is 4x plus 5. d high is 2x minus 3 minus high. And then d low is 4 all over low low. And now we need to simplify. So to simplify, you want to FOIL this out, so that's going to be 8x squared minus 12x plus 10x minus 15. And then you want to distribute the negative 4, it's negative because of the minus sign, so that's going to be minus 4x squared plus 12x. I forgot that. All over low low. Combine like terms, so we can combine the 4x squared and the 8x squared, that's going to give me 4x squared. We can combine these to just 10x. Uh, and then we just have 15. Is that positive or negative 15? I drew over it. Negative 15. Okay. Ta da! Um, and then if you could factor this to like a 4x plus 5. You might be able to simplify more, but I don't think that's the case here, so I'm not going to simplify. All right, number four, you also need the quotient rule. If you want to rewrite this numerator like that real quick before you start using the quotient rule, that would be a good idea. So we're going to do low. And then d high. When you do d high, you need the chain rule. So chain rule, 1 half x plus 1 to the 1 half, or to the negative 1 half, and then times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1. So that's low d high. Minus i, and then d low is negative 1. All over low low. 
All right, so you want to clean up a little bit up here. Express this whole thing as a single fraction. So you would have 2 minus x in the numerator, and then you'd have the 2 from the 1 half in the denominator with the square root of x plus 1 down there. And then the second term here, you have a minus and a negative 1, so that's going to be plus the square root of x plus 1. And so this is the whole numerator. So the whole numerator is divided by Lolo. So I'm just going to write that as times the reciprocal. Then what you could do is distribute this. Um, when you multiply this by this, this would cancel with one of these. And so you just have one over 2 times 2 minus x times the square root of x plus 1. When you distribute this into this, you'll just get plus the square root of x plus 1 over 2 minus x. And that would be good enough simplified ways. you're finding uh, the second derivative. So first, just find dy over dx. So that'll be 6x squared. Wait, sorry, there's a 6 there. We can't do that. We need the chain rule. So you need the chain rule. So you're going to do 6 times 2x cubed plus 2 to the fifth power times the derivative of the inside, which is 6x squared. Then it's always easier if you simplify this a little bit. So combine these two. You get 36x squared times 2x cubed plus 2 to the fifth. All right, so that would be the first derivative. Second derivative of 2x cubed plus 2 all to the 6th power is the derivative of this. The derivative of this requires the product rule because you have two different functions here. So you're going to do first and then d second. d second requires the chain rule. Again, so 5 times 2x cubed plus 2 to the 4th times the derivative of the inside. That's first e second plus second. And then d first is going to be 72x. To simplify, you're going to combine, just like with multiplication, these guys. So this is like 30 times 36, which is. 1080 combine like those x's you got x squared x squared that's x to the 4 and then for the second piece just put the 72x before and that's it okay um, this is just one derivative just d over dx uh, but it requires the product rule um, or Actually, instead of the product rule, it would probably be easier to just simplify. Oh, we can't do that. So I was going to say we could just simplify first, but there's a 3 here. So can't do that. We're going to need the product rule. So if the 3 wasn't there, we could just distribute, simplify, and it would be easier. But the 3 is there, so product rule. So first, and then d second, is 3 times 2 minus 4x squared, and then times the derivative of the inside. So that's first to second plus second. And then d first is just going to be 2x cubed. So again, just kind of take this, 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 multiply these together. That's negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6x to the 4. 
And then I'm just going to put 2x cubed before the 2 minus 4x cubed. And that's it. All right, to find the equation of the tangent line, just remember the equation of the tangent line is going to be y equals mx plus b. You have to find m, and then you have to find b. So m is going to be the derivative. So plug in, um, or I'm sorry, find the derivative using the chain rule. 2 times 4x minus 3 to the 1 power times the derivative of the inside, which is 4, simplifies to 8 times 4x minus 3, which simplifies to 32x minus 24. Okay, so that's the derivative. We want to find, so that's the slope at any given point. The slope at 3, so m at 3 is 32 times 3 minus 24. So that's 96 minus 24 which is 72. Okay, so that's our slope. So, so far we have y equals 72x plus b. Now, we're gonna plug in our point. Zero and three. 72 times three is gonna be, so that's uh, 210 and six, so that's 216. So b is negative 216. All right, so our line is y equals uh, 72x minus 216. All right, and I'm going to continue this later because Reagan woke up from her nap. Be right back.